Walker on the top, running through the clock. Good morning, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Bustelo Talk. We happy you here with us, man. We happy you here with us. We got a lot of good positive feedback. We appreciate you. This is a fact. Comedian Marcus McNeil here, my co-host. Bunny, a.k.a. Erica Ocean. Come on, somebody. <laughs> a walk on the beat in the, in the beginning. My guy, back with another head on drink. I got like wild flavors. Flatbush. Nice. It's, it's another flavor. Shout out to Black On. Black On, Black On, Black On. Black on, Black on. All right. We're going to get into it. Listen, we're going to talk about, it was, a, it was, a, it was, a, it was, <laughs> would you date your friend? Hmm. Meaning, before you go crazy, would you date any of your friends, friends if you were the opposite sex? Correct. So like, for me, if I was a male, mm. would I date any of my female friends? I don't really know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Or, more or less, like, like say, all right, if I was a, when I look at it, are you a female, would you date as a man? I would hope so. Let's say, as a, would you, as a man, if you was a man, would you date any of your female friends? That's what I'm, that's what we're saying. I think I just said. As you said? Yeah. I, did, I yeah, think yeah. I just said that. Let me get Did sip. I just say that? I don't I don't think so. I think I did. I said if I was the opposite sex, would I date any of my friends? That's what I said. Question came in to pose. Alright, so I got I had to think about it, right? So I guess it's equivalent to hooking up my sister with one of my friends. Let's say that, right? Yes. And uh it's a hard no. <laughs> It's a hard no. Um, these niggas is, is pieces of shit. <laughs> Some of them are losers. They have no goals. They're just going to be where they're going to be. Um, one of them doesn't use condoms at all. <laughs> With no one. He's still alive. He's still walking around. And like um, PO. And, you know, it's just like, damn. Am I the best out of my group? I don't know. You know. Well, well, you know, okay. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Elaborate. Hold on. Maybe you wanted it. No. Yeah. Okay. He's, 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 okay. Yeah, he's an asshole, though. <laughs> you always going to hear stuff in the background. You already know what it is. We got, you know, whatever. Jimmy Crack Corn. We got work going on right here. But, uh. Yeah. So, for me. I probably wouldn't date one of my friends, but I would take something from each one of them to make an ideal girlfriend because they all have their own characteristics that are good to be in a relationship. But just individually date them, that would be a no for me too. Mm. Mm. Not, to say, not to say that I'm the better friend either because I'm not, but... I don't think anybody, if they really thought about it, would date their friend. Because you're looking at it from internally. Like, you know them. You know what they do in yeah. relationships. And you know how they carry themselves. Yeah, that's the thing. So, it? it's like, I don't think anybody, if you had to think about it, would date their friend. Mm -hmm. Being the opposite sex. It's just like, you know, unless you're a bunch of nerds, you got a bunch of good guys on your team or a bunch of good girls. Cause I know you go, you know some girl like nah, this bitch is a hoe. Mm -hmm. I want, you know, what I'm saying I can't. She's a hoe. She suck wild dick. <laughs> she just finished fucking Bill Ricky, and now she fucking Jimmy. She lie all the time. Yeah, she lie. All the time. It's like damn. I'm like this nigga, this way, this nigga, that way. <laughs> like I, I don't know what you do. Far as guys though, I know it could be like a, this nigga always fronting. He ain't got shit. Mm -hmm. Right. He never contribute when we go out. Like it's like you know. I don't got and then like I got dudes with bread but it's like is he good for X? Nah because this nigga is you know he ain't, to make you go he ain't shit like I wouldn't you know what I mean 
And then they say, like, girls are, like, oh, the company they keep. I don't believe that. I don't think that's true. I just, I don't, personally. And I'm sure there's other females out there who will feel the same way I feel. Just because I hang out with a certain type of girl or these are my friends and they're this way, that means I'm that way. We all individually have our own qualities, characteristics, and... <laughs> You shout, know, individuality. Shout out to my friends, because they're going to be like, I don't even know that nigga. He not they talking like, about me, fuck baby. you. Fuck he, he you, nigga. He ain't talking about me. Listen, y'all may feel the same way about me. I don't fucking know. But, but me, I tell my friends the same thing. Like, if... You know, I'd be like, well, why you got to do that? So they... I'm the same way with them or not without them. Like, me talking about them now, I'm the same way while with them. Like, I tell them, like, why you got to do all that? You don't have to do that. Just, you know... We too old for this now. Like, you don't have to. That's what I tell them. Like, you know... Teachers them. People give a fuck about life. They don't care. <laughs> the older and reckless they get, they do that. I got some. Ch Listen, I'm not about that. But I have, I know of a in particular person who's in their fifties who, you know, is trying to, you know. But the fact of the matter is, the older they get, they still get more fucking ridiculous. I don't know. It doesn't matter the age. You either gonna be this way or that way. It don't fucking matter the age. But uh yeah, so I don't know. Now if you if you date a friend, right, as the opposite sex, do you uh take all the things that you know about them and hold that in the back of your mind? So it kinda goes back to the friend zone thing that we were talking about. So if you put somebody in a friend zone and they come out the friend zone. Because you know, as friends I talk about Everything. stuff. Right, yeah. So now you cross the friend zone and now you're intimate. Mm. Do you think about all the things that you know of the friend? The fact that she fucked the whole NFL team? Does that stay in the back of your mind? Um, or do you just treat them as a new relationship? Oh, right. So, hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I, I, fuck it. I mean, you probably got past it. You're like, fuck it. You doing whatever you're doing. Hmm. You did whatever you did. You you gonna move forward. I mean, everybody got a past. Everybody has a past. No, of care course. About past. Do you care how many? Here's a dumb question, and you put you should put a question. I don't know. I don't care personally how many girls, how many how many guys uh, uh, somebody has sex with before you. Right. Like I'm not asking that question. It doesn't matter. I don't know. So I need feedback from you guys who's watching. Do y'all care to know how many people the opposite sex you're dealing with? How many partners they have before you? And if you do care, why? I need to know. So I need y'all feedback on this, for real. Positively, I need the feedback. Mm. And do you know? If they lying and telling the truth. No, no. Do you know how many partners you have? <laughs> oh. Do you count? I don't count. Cause you know you Somebody have. Somebody asked me that question. I personally don't. I don't know. Yeah. I definitely don't know. Like, at what age do you think uh, to say? Like, I wasn't taught coming up. Like, yo, you should count. Right. You know what I'm saying? saying? And then I think men is different because I've, men I've got had, more bodies. I've had someone come and tell me that we had sex, and I don't have any recollection of me having sex with the person. And mm. I, I tried to, I tried to, like, remember they and the go, they couldn't give me the year. And I'm like, okay, well, what year was this? Because, you know, Maybe from me know. having my daughter in 2000, everything I remember, like, my timeline is vivid from 2000 up. So before that. It's a little vivid from 99 up. So, so they say they had sex you before that? In between that time, like 99, 2000. I mean, 98, 2000. They had no Cancun jumper? No. Same no. Shit? Okay. No. And I don't know if I blocked it out my mind, and this is why I can't remember, but I really, really, like, tried to mm. remember. Like, I I don't remember having sex with him. Mm. And the, the where he said we had sex was like, was I that wow back then if i was i think i would remember because mm, maybe it was somebody look like you no i that's what i said i'm like i don't know but i just wrote it off as okay well if you say so so he was like do it again 
I don't know how he felt after that for me not remembering the experience and he did, but I just said, okay, well, if you said we did, we did. I don't really remember that. And the funny thing is I told him back then, like, you're not even my type. But he said I still had sex with him. So that's mm. what's really confusing to me. Because if I tell you you're not my type and then you're telling me I still had sex, I don't know. It's just, it was weird. For me. So I still today don't remember or really know if it actually happened. I, I, I think that more, had, more, more that's most common for men. Because I've had that one Like time. writing it off? Like no, if you had just, sex with somebody? just like not remembering. Because I had a chick tell me, like, yo, I went to, talk, I went to talk to a chick. Mm -hmm. I seen, I was like, oh, she cute. Let me holler. She's like, you don't remember me? Wow. I was like, what's that? <laughs> what? She's like, you don't you don't know who I am? So oh so so it must have not been that good then. Damn. Okay. That is kinda harsh for the person. Like you don't remember them sexually and you had sex. I get question for the people that drink. Because I had this question before. Do you did you have sex if you don't remember? Did you do it? Uh, yeah. If your dick went in vagina. Well, if your penis went remember. in vagina. Well, that goes back to my situation. I don't remember. I don't remember either, but I don't, I don't think I'm not going to say I didn't. Because if you're saying I did, okay, well, I did. i tell you what, you catch some shit, it counts. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. But <laughs> Happy New Year. But... I, I, you know, because it'd be times, like, it'd be times if I'm with a chick, and I, if I'm with my girl, someone would be a girl, and I got drunk with my, let's say I got drunk with my ex. Mm -hmm. I went to sleep. I woke, I woke up like, I'm, I'm horny. She's like, yeah, we just fucked all night last night. I'm like. If you didn't remember. What was you drinking? I don't know. Okay. But all I know is it didn't happen, and we got to redo it today, this morning. I'm so like, what I'm about like, what about I don't remember. What about the people who feel like if you have sex with a condom it don't count? How you feel about that? I've never heard that. But I, I get some it. people, some I people it, say that. If I you have sex it. with a condom, it don't count. Because your skin actually didn't touch. So it's like you I, know, we it don't count. It's not a body. So people count raw bodies, not condom bodies. Well, this fe no, if not, nah, if you're a female, you can't think like that because a nigga. Well, because we're internal, right. Right. So if, but if you were you a know, male, absolutely, I get that you get because it. it's just like. So if it's condom, it don't count. Uh, right. We're not gonna add that person. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah. What about you? Do remember that you had sex with someone and regret doing it, so you write it off like, nope, I'm not counting that person. Like it wasn't a relationship; it was just something that wasn't supposed to happen. It happened. You know it happened, but you writing it off like, nope, I'm not counting that person. I don't know that I'm not counting them, but I'm definitely not thinking about them any longer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not adding How it in. How do you answer that question? How many people you have sex with? How you do you, no, uh, yeah, how do you answer that? Like, I'm thinking about in the nature of somebody like you, if we were dating and you just asked me how many people slept with. I feel like me just even being like, uh, that's like, damn. You know? I don't think that. I don't even think that's relevant. At that point. <laughs> your more, your main question. I don't should care be, how many people you slept with. I don't care. Well, okay. You. What you don't want to do, but see, this is the only time you know. Is it? I mean, a lot of a lot of times you, y'all niggas are stupid. Some of y'all get the local hole pregnant. Now you're what? an idiot. But what is a hole? The bitch is fucking everybody. Like, you go to her... Could, What's everybody? Cause the block. The hood. All right, so She's what if, the jump. So, so, what if... She's the jump. So, what if she was in relationships with these people no. and they didn't work out and then moved on to no, the next? No, we talking about the jump. The chick that we call... What is the jump? Explain that to me. The you. jump off is the chick that you can hit on any point in time and be like, yo, come... You know, come I want to fuck him, something like that, whatever. And then oh. he jumping over. Like, she's the guaranteed pop fuck. Okay. And she got no nigga. Mm -hmm. But she out there fucking. And a whole hood know I can call Shaniqua ass. And she, she's knocking it down. And, she's gonna, and then you get her pregnant. You're an idiot. A lot of y'all got them pregnant type of chicks. Pregnant. Well, that probably comes from them not using protection. It doesn't even matter. It do But you should be doing. Yes, it doesn't matter. You're absolutely right. Yeah, it does. But 
that's that's different. But other than that, what's the what's the you know if if she say I fuck five hundred niggas, the main question is, I'm I'm free of all disease. Okay, but that's something I was gonna say because even the hole that you're talking about, the jump off. Mm. She may fuck everybody, but her pussy still may be in better shape than a girl who only fucked five. Right, yeah, but here's the thing. So are we, are we really counting how many people you slept with or the condition of the actual vagina? Yeah, but in the neighborhood of the hole, my nigga Sean nutted on your face. Now you got my baby. Like, I knew you was, you know what I'm saying? Sean nutted on you, nutted on your face. You wiped this nigga off in the park. Well, you should have thought about that before. That's what I'm saying. These niggas are stupid. Yeah, she should have thought about that before. Absolutely. I'm just saying. A lot of kids are not planned. They just happen. Even if the girl is that's not a, a jump off. That's a fact. You can have a girl that's not a jump off and still turn out to be a horrible kid's mother. That's a fact. A it's of... no different. And that jump off could be the greatest mother. So for me, no judgment. You never know how the book turn. That should be another thing. We might have to do another show uh, uh, trying to do shit to keep your, your to, to, for exes, to keep the nigga. No, try to do shit to keep a nigga, like have a kid. Because niggas do that shit too. Niggas come in the chick on purpose, get her pregnant to half her around for the rest of their life. Then they're going to fuck all the time. Right. And vice versa. <laughs> so those are, it's not just women. That's a fact. That's a whole other episode. We're going to talk about that next show. That's a good show. Also, any topics that you would like for us to talk about right. that you want to elaborate on but don't want to publicly be known, you can inbox and leave your comments, questions, and concerns, and we will make a show and discuss it. Mm -hmm. Sidebar, we're going to have, we're going to end up having guests as well, and we're going to do some Zoom shit as well where we're going to do the show and y'all be on the Zoom too, and then we're going to put this shit up. And it's gonna be like this, so it's gonna be flip floppy. It's gonna be dope though. I got it all control. So you get 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 get, get from there. Okay. I need my toes done. How you feel about feet? Do you touch feet? I suck toes. Oh. I'm a toe sucker. Mm. A lot of girls think that's disgusting. Um, I don't get that. I don't understand. I don't think it's disgusting. It feels weird. Okay. Well, see. Well, then 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 why do you care so much? If somebody, I don't know that you do care. So you, can, oh, but you want foot massages or some shit. Oh, I definitely like a foot massage, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But don't don't have ugly feet. Because if you have ugly feet, I don't want your feet touching my feet. That's if they ugly. I get it. Yeah. Or the shack feet. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I've never understood women not liking certain things. Like what? Just like, like if, I guess because I'm so, and I, but I guess it's a different, I'm so open with shit. It's like, you know, I do it all. So... Like I know a lot of chicks that don't like their ass ache. You, you. It feels weird. Okay. It feels it's like, like a wet sock. Wet socks are <laughs> uncomfortable. Nobody ah. likes wet socks. So when the crack of your ass is wet, for me, it just it feels uncomfortable. I'm just saying. I know some chicks. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> but a lot of chicks, I know chicks that like it, and I know you know what I'm saying. It's just different things that I'm like, yeah, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Don't don't we were, don't we slide in my inbox telling me that you can eat my ass the a, a good way and I would like it. Don't do it. Like this. Don't do it. Don't See do what? it. Just please don't. Don't inbox me and tell me nothing that you can do to me sexually. Just don't. Why do men do that? I don't know. Y'all are talking. I haven't had too many do that, but I'm just you know pointing it out there. Don't do it now. Mm. I, I said to a chick one time. You look like you be saying nasty stuff to girls. First of all, everybody settle down. That's not. You do though. I'm just saying. I, what is happening? <laughs> if I'm if I'm talking to you, I, I'll say like if we're if we're on you that type like of time. You look like I be talking wild, crazy shit. Like, absolutely, not random. And then I gotta be like, uh, okay. No, not random. If I'm talking shit. It's because it's, it's it's probably gonna go down. Chinatown already went down. <laughs> That's when I'm talking shit. I'm not first inbox you. Like, hey, I said one time the furthest I said was I just got my phone pregnant, but she was twerking. So I was like, holy shit! I just got. My phone. You know what I'm saying? 
But that's a fart. I'm not sliding, yo. I would chuck a fart with the dick out in my hand. Oh, I ain't say that. Oh my crazy. God, tear your ass up. Yeah, I ain't. Mm. Yeah. I have, I have drunk tested some shit before by mistake. But I'll be like, God damn. I stay from this fucking phone when I'm drinking. Is that statement true? If your girl get drunk and she don't text you, she does your girl. I see that. That's, 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 that's for real. I've, I've gotten, you know, like, yo, when she get drunk, like, yo, even if you got, like, that's your sexual partner, mm -hmm. like, yo, fuck are you doing, nigga? <laughs> yeah. The text is like, do right. guys do that too? When they drunk? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And if that don't go, we trying to get something else to slide through. <laughs> what about... We're trying to get the dick. What about a girl contact Wet you while you're drinking and let you know that she's coming over for some pound time and uh, pound you time. fall asleep and wake up with about five to ten missed calls from Shorty and mm. now you know, like, damn, you done fucked up. You done, you done missed I don't know. the action. I don't know if that's happened to me before. Mm. I definitely... Has that happened to you? You miss some grind time action? I, I, I think I have. Because you fell asleep? I think I have fell asleep on some pussy before. Like, Damn. Wanting to get some and then they How did you like, feel when you wake up? Like, fuck. But you tight. You like, damn, I nigga. And I think it was something that I, I never got and I could have got that night. And I wanted it. <laughs> that shit is whack. You feel like shit. You like, fuck. That what that yo, that shit is that split second. Oh, let me close my eyes for two seconds. That two seconds, the next morning, oh, 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 oh. yo, you be tight. That sucks. So before I forget, to piggyback off of these conversations about relationships, we mm -hmm. gotta talk about. Do you go through your mate's phone, and why? Mm. You wanna do another? You wanna do another joint? Yeah, that's gonna be another show. That's gonna be another, Cause that's gonna lead into. The other things. Right. Yeah. Yo, that's good. Y'all be like, ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all saying like fucking seals right now. <laughs> like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Word. Next, next show. Bitch be going through my phone when I'm asleep. Uh, all right. So uh, we appreciate y'all for watching. <laughs> we have we made y'all morning. If we did, if we didn't kill yourself, it's all good regardless. <laughs> Thanks for showing up to Bustello Talk. <laughs> Comment, like, share, show love. We appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day. Peace.